Good afternoon from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusive comment today. We're going to concentrate uh, on ags. Uh, we're going to begin with what's happened in the soybean market. Uh, I've talked before about the fact that the funds maintain a long bet, about 130,000 contracts. This in the face of, the, of a $2 sell-off. We were near $12. The 200-day moving average was at 955. We've been flirting with that yesterday. We took it out and went below that. Uh, currently, we're hovering right around that 955 level. Why is that important? The, these long-term trend-following money managers look at the 100-day and the 200-day moving averages because they don't generally day trade. Uh, I believe that on Friday, if we settle below that 200-day moving average, that could be, and I gotta say could, that could be a trigger for these guys to finally start liquidating uh, that large long position. If that happens, uh, you could see us go back to our, our, our year, early lows this year around the 850, 860 level. There is that much risk. Flip side, um, the market is so oversold that if we were to get any sort of a bullish um, story at all, uh, they would be right back at it. So that 200 day moving average represents a pivot, represents opportunity. That's number one. Moving on to the corn and wheat. Uh, yesterday we saw new lows, contract lows and lows for the move in corn and wheat. Uh, Chicago wheat is down, uh, if you look at the continuation charts, it's at a 10 year low. We're right at the $4 level. The market's very oversold. The funds are very short there. They're short about 140,000 contracts of wheat. They are now short also about 80,000 contracts of corn. Why is that important? Well, we are projecting estimates of very high yields. We could have very large crop and then a very large supply carryover. Moving forward, we're going to be watching a, on August 12th, there's a USDA report. The nice thing about the grains is you get these days that you know they're coming and you can get your position right in front of it. And then when the market moves, and it will move on the 12th, uh, based on the supply and demand, based on the estimated yields, based on uh, the carryout, uh, you know, you're set up for a, a violent move one way or the other. So uh, between now and then, take a look at that market. You've got corn very oversold, wheat very oversold. Could it continue to go lower? Absolutely. Uh, but a lot of speculators like to try and catch our rallies. You've seen that before. And in a downward trend, we'll have these uh, sort of violent short covering rallies. They're short lived, uh, but they do provide opportunities for both traders and speculators. Um, I think that's the biggest thing to, to look at with the grains. I want to switch over really quick to um, livestock. The fat and feeder cattle have had good 10 and $13 rallies off recent contract and multi-year lows. The market was very, very oversold. It looks like we've potentially put in a seasonal bottom. Uh, so take a look at that. Now, a lot of bullish traders will look at these recent lows and that'll be their stop. They'll, they'll get long against these uh, major uh, support levels on the charts. So a lot of traders are looking at that. Uh, finally, the one contract that has been under a lot of pressure has been lean hogs. Uh, a lot of supply, a lot of downward pressure uh, with the uh, pork bellies. Uh, the uh, prices in the wholesale have dropped uh, 20 30 $40 uh, in the past two weeks. So you've got a lot of negative news there. That, a port, that contract could also be very oversold. Uh, we're very close to making, uh, to testing some key chart points on the continuation charts. And uh, this year, 2016, has been very, very dominated by money flow and by technical chart points. Um, so I would continue to watch those. But I think all those markets, corn, wheat, beans, the lean hogs, and the, uh, both the fats and feeder cattle, they're giving you good opportunity to uh, either catch a counter trend move or to use a, uh, uh, another expression to try and you know, look for an opportunity to jump back in to the major trend. If you want to talk about your hedging, you want to talk about your speculating, uh, please look me up on the web, Chris Robinson. Have a great day.